The Rams head east this week trying to figure out how to right the ship, and they'll get a Falcons team pretty much in the same boat. We've got three predicted outcomes ahead, but right now let's get acquainted with a few numbers. It's safe to say at this point, something is Goff in LA. Play action and Goff is going to go down around the five yard line, Solomon Thomas. Jared Goff was sacked four times against the Niners last week and finished with just 78 passing yards. He has seven TDs on the year against seven picks and his passer rating is near the bottom of the league. He simply hasn't looked the same ever since Todd Gurley's health issues have come up. But if Goff is going to get back on track, this could be the week he does it. The Falcons got shredded by Kyler Murray, who threw for 340 yards, three TDs, and a fat 128.2 passer rating. And on the year, only two teams have given up a higher rating than the 119.2 they've allowed. And they've given up 8.3 yards per pass, also one of the worst marks in the NFL. Those numbers then play into their inability to force punts. Their D is 32nd at stopping teams from converting on third down. They let Arizona convert on seven of their 13 tries. Their past these struggles and a missed extra point were the main reason Matt Ryan's brilliant day didn't lead to a W last week. Ryan lays it off and into the end zone. It's Calvin Ridley. Ryan keeps putting up good games and losing. 30 of 36, 356 yards, four touchdowns without throwing a pick, and a 144.9 rating. But within all their struggles, LA's pass defense has been one of their mild bright spots. Garoppolo with a fade, and it's going to be intercepted by Marcus Peters in the end zone. Now that guy is gone. They traded Marcus Peters, but he helped the Rams keep Jimmy Garoppolo from throwing any TD passes, held him under 250 passing yards. For the season, they've held QBs to a respectable 90.9 passer rating and are 14th in completion percentage against. Now, they also placed Aqib Tlaib on the IR, but they also traded for cornerback Jalen Ramsey, so they'll have a whole new look at the position this week. Can they somehow slow down Ryan and company this week, or will their tailspin continue? Let's see what our predicted scores have to say about the matter. And no, oh, coming around the end, it's going to be Woods again, and Robert Woods gets in there for the touchdown.